Hello, Fua. Welcome to uh, our continuation of uh, chemistry lesson, and we are focusing on from four lessons. Why is because these are the people who have their final chance in the uh, secondary level of education. And therefore, uh, even if we have this problem, they can still actually continue learning in their homes. They can still continue learning in their homes. Uh, in this program we have uh, in our channel. So, therefore, uh, don't forget actually to subscribe uh, uh, this lesson because it is actually it's going to be bringing you more lessons. So, uh, today we are want to pick from where we left at the time. The other time we were looking at actually uh, at an, uh, the electrochemical cell, electrochemical cell. But that part is actually we are restricting in the half cell, half cell half cell. We say that a half cell is composed of a solution, uh, we have a metal rod and we have a solution of its uh, own ions. A solution of its own ions. That actually was composed of a half cell. And we say that half cell uh, can actually will have the development of a uh, position device. Why? Because we have the electrons, uh, the, 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 the metal rod actually ionizes. And when it ionizes, it actually deposits the electrons on the metal surface, and now the ions get into the solu solution. That actually creates the, the, the PD, the, the positional difference. So, today, we want now to still integrate that, that concept there that we learned about the, the half cell. We now uh, look at more about this. How do we uh, construct uh, this, uh, this electrochemical cell? Now, we want to see how we construct an electrochemical cell, how to set up an electrochemical cell. Now, that is, uh, that is that. So we, our objective, our objectives are, number one, we have described components of a cell, a cell diagram. Describe a component of a cell diagram. Now, we want to describe a component of a cell diagram. What is it? What are the components? What, are it, what, what is it composed of? Now, and number two, we are want to draw a cell diagram using correct notation. Notation, cell diagram. You should be able to draw the cell diagram. Draw it, draw it, and name the, the, the components of that. That is actually the objective. The learner, you should be able to learn uh, to actually uh, to meet these objectives. Now, um, uh, how, do, how do we set this? We have the following. We have the following in setting that. To compare relative tendency of metals to ionize. So we are going to have use at least, uh, we have two metals. We are going to use uh, two metals. Then, first one, we have placed 50 cubic centimeters or one molar zinc, zinc 2 uh, sulfate in a uh, 100, 100 cubic centimeter picker, put a clean zinc, uh, zinc rod into the solution. What is that? Zinc. So we have a 50 cubic centimeters of, of zinc solution and we have a uh, zinc, uh, zinc, zinc rod. Now, at the same time, on the other hand, place 50 cubic centimeters of one molar, you realize here the volume, the volumes here are the same, the volume here are the same, and the concentration here are the same. So, of copper 2 sulfate in another 100 pica. Put a clean copper, copper, copper plate of equal area, length, and width with that one. I don't see, see. So, the metal road here should be equal, should be equal. There is a reason why they should be equal. They should be, should be equal. Now, then, then step number three, connect the two metals to a voltmeter. You know a voltmeter. Those of you who are doing physics, you probably know a voltmeter. A voltmeter is used to measure voltage. Therefore, you connect the two of them so that you can be able to measure voltage. Remember here, we are, we are, we only have electricity connected to it, but now, this, this, the two of them will generate electri electricity. Now, dip a folded filter paper into a solution of potassium nitrate or sodium chloride until it until it, uh, it is soaked and then it's actually soaked. Now, so we are we are we have here a folded paper. So you fold the paper, you fold the paper, you fold the paper just like this. You fold the paper just like this. Let me just get you a paper. So you fold the paper just like this, uh, and then you you soak you soak into a solution. Now you remember you have a solution now. This is a concentrated solution of, of let's say, uh, an example of 
potassium or uh, sodium nitrate or sodium chloride, I mean. So you, you place that into that. So when you soak this one, now there's a purpose for, for this. Then, then using the folded, uh, soak, uh, uh, filled, uh, filter paper to connect, uh, connect, uh, connect or join the two solution in uh, the two pickers. So we, we have now, assuming that this, uh, this uh, uh, filter paper, you actually uh, connect the two solution using that. So if we have picker A and picker P, picker A is for zinc and picker two, uh, picker two is what? Picker P is for copper. So when you join the two of them, join the two of them. So you now have this this paper here. This paper is acting as uh, something. Now we are going to see it later on. So basically, uh, we when we have when we have this a uh, uh, paper, I was I was talking about. Then this is, we have now the zinc rod. Okay, we have the zinc rod, and then we have what? We have the copper rod and the solution of zinc here and the solution of copper here. The same. Now then we have a wire here to the voltmeter. Then we have that wire to the other um, metal uh, metal rod, which is actually of copper. So basically, now if you look at this, this is actually a complete circuit. A complete circuit. Because it goes here, this way, then from here, it joins this, that, and the back, that. Okay? So this is actually a complete circuit. So therefore, this is becoming now a cell. A cell. A cell because it's actually a complete circuit. This cell can generate electricity. Can generate electricity. Let us go back what we say. When you dip in this piece well, this metal rod, this metal rod here will ionize. Now, the ionization depends on the position. In comparison to copper, this one ionizes more because it is more reactive and therefore will allow this one more negative with respect to copper. This will be more negative with respect to copper. So this one will become now uh, negative, more negative charge. This one will become positively charged, uh, more positively charged. So this one will have more, more what? More electrons. Therefore, this will render this one. The electrons now are, for this one to be balanced, the electrons are supposed to be equally discharged, flowing through this wire to the other side. Now, resting on this other side, it's equally going to uh, uh, allow this copper ions, copper ions here too, to be to be equally uh, discharged. It's actually going to be discharged. Now, you will also realize that we have a mass here loss because now we are losing the electrons here and therefore it results in the mass, mass loss. Let's look, let's look at this in, this in the terms of equations. Terms of equation. From the above observation, it can be deduced that now we have in the zinc and copper half cell, the, uh, the following is equally C. Zinc rod ionizes faster than copper to form zinc ions. It ionizes faster than copper to form uh, to form zinc ions. Now, ionic equation at the anode. Now this let's go back here. We have here this is the anode. Anode is where we have generation of electrons. Since this one is more negative, it generates electrons and this one is turned out to be anode. The other one it is now receiving the electron. It is, it is more positive as compared to, to sin. Therefore, it's equally uh, cathode. So, the equation at the cathode, the equation at the cathode here, at the anode I mean, the equation at the anode, the equation at the anode is as follows. Is as follows. I think we have gone. So, we have sin, which is losing electrons, gamma, sin ion plus two electron. Now, this, this one now, this one, uh, the blue copper ions in the copper, to solve the solution, gains the donated electron. Remember here, the solution of copper is equally gaining the electrons. And then, what is, what is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of that? So therefore, we'll have the formation of a brown substance on a metal, metal surface. So that in that case, we have the mass increasing. Why? Because this one is gaining two electrons, become a metal. The mass of the cathode increases. The mass of the cathode increases. That is actually the understanding of that. The understanding of that is the mass of the cathode increases. The mass of the cathode Increases. Now, uh, the reaction shows shows that the, the zinc rod has higher tendency to ionize than copper. Than copper has higher tendency to ionize than copper. Zinc rod has higher net accumulation of electrons, as I have said, is more negatively charged compared to what copper rod, which it has a lower accumulation of electrons. Therefore, the copper rod is therefore relatively more positive with respect to zinc. Uh, ions, with sing, uh, respect to sing ions. Now, uh, we are saying that 
when when the two half cells when the two half cells are connected electrons therefore flow from negative negative uh, uh, negative sync road through the external wire to, to be gained by copper ions as I explained in the diagram above and explained in the diagram above this means that a net increase of sync positive ions on the negative half half set a net decrease in copper ions in the equally positive ions on the positive half cell. So we have that. We have a net increase on positive ions of this and a net decrease in, in, in uh, copper ions. So, so, so we are saying uh, this one now if we have a net uh, decrease increase in zinc ions and a net decrease in copper ions, that means that one they should be balanced. They should be balanced. How do we balance this? We are using a, a salt bridge. How, what is this salt bridge? Salt bridge, as in, in our diagram, now let me go back to our diagram here. This one was acting as a salt bridge. This one was acting as a salt bridge. This one. This one, yes. This one was acting as a salt bridge. Now, this wood paper here is called a salt bridge. Salt bridge. Salt bridge. Salt bridge. Now, what is it? This one uh, is, is doing the following, uh, following uh, functions. It has the following function. It has the following function. Number one, we have complete the cell circuit. It completes the circuit. Number one is actually complete the circuit. It completes because the circuit actually should be something is actually going through, going through that. So that one is connected to solution. And therefore, the circuit is go is complete. Now number two, it maintains balance of charges on both half cells. How does this one happen? For the negativity half cell, the nitrate ion from the sun bridge degrees or neutralize the, uh, the, the increased positive uh, zinc ions. Hope, hope, you are, hope you are still uh, we are still together. You are still together in that. You are still together in that. So it's actually neutralizing that. And therefore the concentration of zinc ions now stabilizes. It stabilizes. Now number two uh, on the other side for the positive half cell the sodium ion or the potassium ion from the salubri increase the degrees the degrees positive uh, copper two ions. So it is actually increasing. It is actually packing up to increase that and step and actually bring that to actually a position whereby we'll have now the balance of char charges. It's actually maintaining the balance of char charges as as we have said. So that is actually it for, for today. So uh, don't forget to subscribe at Malimu Citronic. If you stay at home you will actually uh, make uh, our going back to school very soon. But if you, if you go, if you, if you, if you move away from home, that means that you will make our going back to school uh, very long. Therefore, maybe uh, our learning will lose meaning. So we are praying that uh, you stay at home and uh, uh, get more about uh, this learning through our YouTube channel. We have Molimu Sitone. You are going to get those lessons. We are going to be running those lessons from now and sport. And uh, when we will be through, we will likely see something uh, we are going to do, even uh, doing revision. Of, uh, so, thank you very much. Yeah, God bless you.